Um, hey, it's Deciphering AI, and uh, today I want to talk um, about the Chinchilla paper um, of uh, Google's DeepMind. And um, yeah, the first uh, thing I want to talk about is the current models, and they all um, have a ratio of the uh, number of par parameters and the training tokens of about one to one. So for example Lambda has um, 137 um, million um, tokens and 168 billion um, uh, no, the, the, um, the, the other way it has 133 B parameters and 168 B uh, training tokens. GPT is also about, about I don't know, maybe 1 to 2 is the ratio here, 175 and 300. And Gopher, which is um, also from Google, is also about 1 to 1. And now it, they tried something new with uh, Chinchilla. It has um, 70 B um, parameters and 1.5 T. Um, that's trillion um, training tokens. So the ratio is yeah, something quite as. And what they actually found is that this uh, chinchilla model is superior to the gopher model, um, which is why they proposed a as a, um, these uh, following optimal ratios. For example, uh, for a one B um, parameter model, it should be trained on 20 B tokens. So there is a ratio of 20 and not a ratio of one. And yeah, the same for 10 B and 200 B and even one trillion and 21 trillion. So there is a ratio of about 20. And it is um, superior to the gopher model. And then um, I will share something else. Here is a summary <coughs> of the models, of many um, models, and you can also see the ratios. Uh, for example, GPT 3.5 also has a ratio of about 1 or 2, and that, according to the Chinchilla paper, is not optimal. Um, and we can also look at the total error. Um, for example, these two, which are in the GPT um, for all um, framework, they only have um, 13 B uh, parameters, but they have 1.5 trillion tokens. So they actually have um, a ratio which also is not perfectly optimal. But they actually, in, 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 the, in terms of the total error, they are, they are very similar to GPT 3.5. <clears throat> and yeah, then there is GPT Neo X and GPT 2, which uh, I will also uh, use in the experiment that I'm about to do. And they have a ratio of about um, yeah, 7 and then 50. And, but the total error is uh, still pretty um, large, especially for GPT-2. It only has, um, it, and it, o it only has been trained on 10 B tokens, um, which means it's pretty bad uh, on the total error. And GPT Neo X is also quite bad compared to GPT 3.5. And they have been trained on the same amount of tokens, but the parameters are far less with GPT Neo X. But the two of uh, GPT for all, they can actually rival uh, GPT 3.5. And also, for example, here in the Hella Swag, um, they are um, yeah, almost where GPT 3.5 is at. Then here is Gopher, I've already talked about it. And it also has a total error of uh, 0.3 about and it also rivals GPT 3.5. And then there's Chinchilla. Chinchilla has a far lower total error, even though it has 
less parameters than Gopher. And the reason is it has been trained on many more tokens. Here it's uh, 300B tokens and here it is 1400B uh, 1, or in other words 1.5 trillion tokens. And yeah, that, that was Llama but uh, Chinchilla is also this is it's quite similar also in the parameters and also in the tokens. They both are really good um, when it comes to the total error. And yeah, then there is of course um, also Palm 2, which also has a quite good um, ratio and it has a really good um, total error. And yeah, it's also extremely good in the MMLU and GPT-4 is even um, superior to Palm 2 and also in the Hella swag. Palm 2 is already really good and GPT-4 is extremely good. So yeah, that was uh, a yeah, short um, summary of the Chinchilla paper. And yeah, if you liked the video then you can like the video and you can also uh, share the, this video with people who you might think might be interested and you could also subscribe. Uh, subscribe. So yeah, that was it and, um, and see you uh, in the next video.